How cool is that? So then, folks, we're at the Stainforth and Keeper Canal today in Thorn. We've got Frankie and Rimmer coming along. Going to do a little gooey on the bank. Hopefully, catching plenty of these plus many more. Some good size, then, to be fair. Trying to eat a fly, then. Thank you and Rimmer coming along. We're a bit late. But it's okay because I get to see some fish. We've dropped the bags because what have we seen, Rim? It's in a pike. A pike? Yes, the old Aesox Lucius. Oh, yeah, I see him. See him? Yeah, I see him. Look at the markings on him. Crazy, isn't it? Proper little jack pike. They're them ones, Brandon. When you're bringing your roach in over the top, they come up and snap them. <laughs> Not the ones you want. A big splash. No, he's not moving. He's had them, he's had little like fry sort of slide past him as well. He hasn't should had we, a grab. Should we throw a little uh, pebble at him and see if he moves? I don't know. What's this? <laughs> Cracking shot. Just got one on lily pad, didn't I? <laughs> and again. Oh, he's gone oh, for it. Gone for the stone. <laughs> I'd have had him. <laughs> I'd have had him. You just mugged the pike with a stone. <laughs> He's arrived. Here arrived. he is. I'm in the place to be. It's very warm, isn't it? It's absolutely boiling. Love this venue, Brenda. Mm, very, very I've grown hot. up fishing this venue. Thorn oh, yeah. Canal. Staying for Fikiba Canal at Thorn. Yeah. And we're on pegs 145, if anyone knows this. Basically, look over there, Brenda. There's a big, massive bridge. White yep. gold bridge. We've gone to the right of it. Um, I've been informed by a good friend, Johnny Freeborn, who lives local to here. That this is a good area. And I want to do a little tiny piece. I'll run through the rigs in a little bit, but... First of all, I'm going to plumb up. Okay. Um, and when you go into anywhere like this, canal, anywhere it's red hot like today, the fish are going to want to be in features, like a bit of cover, something like that. So I'm going to fish on the other bank of the canal. So it's around about 14 and a half metres, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, plumbing up wise. Go on then, talk us through it. Simple, 20 gram plummet. Yeah. Wallop her in. Get her in. Let's just want to have a nice little clean area to fish, Brenda. That's really important. So I'm okay. going to run through that in a second. So as you see, this canal's got a big, deep middle bit. It's around about nine, ten foot in the middle. Okay. And then it's going to shallow up across because there's two ledges. Imagine that. That's the middle. Yeah. That's the far bank. This is the near bank where we are. Okay. Right. So you, you've got a few options. You can have a fish on the near bank, like here, close mm -hmm. to yourself, but it's a bit clear today. So that's why I want to go across there to the cover, which I mentioned earlier. Yeah. So I'm going to go right all the way across. How far is that? 14 metres? 14, 14 point three metres, that. 40, very precise. So I'm going to try and get as close as I can to the lilies without potentially losing fish if you hook them. Yeah. So what, what's, what's, the, what's the species, what's the target species today then? That's lovely that, Brenda. It comes up nice. mega that. Oh. Um, we're going to hopefully be catching skimmers, bream, odd little pommy. Mm. But hopefully there's going to be a lot of bites. But honestly, mate, you know conditions today, it's yeah. like 30 degrees, flat calm going to be tricky yeah very um, clear as well isn't it can you can you see what i'm doing now brenda You're dragging the old bottom i'm dragging the bottom to make sure there's no lilies or like snags there okay because if there are fish just don't feed confidently over like bits of weed odd lily you know what like, lily pads there must be loads of them yeah like, if you look in the edge here you won't fish in the middle of them there's you? some like half sunk down there yeah, isn't there exactly so that's why i'm just I'm, i need to come up there about two or three inches mm -hmm. but that's nice I'm just dragging it across. It's really nice. Put your pole low to the left, and as you can see, it just slides. Sliding it across the bottom. Very smooth. Look at that, right? There's yeah. no snags there, is there? Okay, yeah. Yeah, because you're not. Uh -oh. Oh, there's a little bit of there's one. There's one. That's not great. That was right on the middle of the spot where I was thinking. Oh, was it? That's weird that you didn't bump that the first no, or the no. second time you went you through. You need to do it a few times, because honestly, you just need to try and find a spot mm. that's not as. Like there, look, it's obviously dragging on something there, isn't it? Yeah. If you, sometimes you plumb up, pull up, and there might be a bit of weed. Yeah, look yeah. at that. Bit of weed there, right? I see it. So I'm going to get that weed off. Go away, weed. We don't want you. <laughs> don't want to be catching you. Let's try it again, because that might, might have been the only bit of rubbish on the bottom. Yeah. Sometimes you might have to go to the right of where you want to fish. Mm. You know, it's a little bit clearer. It's a bit to the right. Where was it? About a bit to the right of where, where you are now. Have a little look. Let's have a try again. But so you've got to do this a few times, yeah. honestly, because you can easily miss it, can't you? You can easily miss it. And I want to be fishing on a clean area. Yeah. So at the start of your session, 
honestly, it's so important to do this. Mm. I'm happy with that, to be fair. I think that might have been the only bit of rubbish that were on it. You might have moved it. You might have pushed it down the slope a little bit. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, if you have a look at there, to summarise everyone watching, all you beautiful people, go close to features. If it's lily beds, if it's a nice little bit of a tree, hot conditions, the fish are going to be backing off to those features. That's where they feel comfortable. Hiding away. And that's hopefully where we're going to catch them. Lovely. Go on then, where are you going to plumb it up to? Just on a little piece about where to go yeah. in terms of the canal where you're going to be fishing. And I want to be fishing around two to three inches on the bottom. Okay. When my hook bait's laying on the bottom, I want it to stay nice and static. Mm. So important when you're fishing for skimmers and bream. So I don't know if you could see from all the way back there, but my float was actually under the surface of the water. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, pull it up to about, about six inches. So that hopefully gives me around three quarters of a body length of the float on yeah. the bottom. Okay. Don't want to go too much. You can always lay on a little bit more line if you want to. Yeah. Two to three inches on the bottom. Not going to be a lot of tow today. No. Flat calm, no wind. You want to try and keep to that two to three inches. Mm. And that'll be that optimum length of line on the bottom. I like it. That's a very good Got the word myself. optimum in. <laughs> Never said optimum in my life until now. No, it's, it's important not to lay on too much, isn't it? Yeah, because you, you don't want too much line on the bottom. Mm. Because if a fish does pick up your up bait, sometimes... You're not going to see you it. see a little tiny dink and sometimes yeah. you miss it. It's a bit different to commercials. They're not the finicky wild fish, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. You, you've got to be a bit cute with it. Three inches is more than enough. Mm. That's what I've been told anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good length. Let's have a little look now. Can you Go see on. it? Yeah, look at that. Oh. That's perfect. That Spot now. on that, isn't it? Yeah, that is about bang on. So, it's about halfway have, down the wire sort of thing. About three quarters of the way down the wire. Can you see it just now? But just one, one little tip, right? Drop your plummet in from a height and then let the line go slack. Because sometimes yeah. a lot of people go tight like this. Yeah. But you just need to let the line go slack like that. Mm. So now when it's relaxed, which is what your fishing float and rig will be. It's not going to be tight like that when you're not, fishing, are It's you? not going to be tight like that. So I'm about three inches on the bottom. Perfect. That's ideal, that. Spot on. Let's slide some bait in here. Let's catch some fish. Let's get fishing tank. Come on, talk us through how you're going to start. Just plumbed up. Plumbed up, that's Need right. Need to put a bit of bait in, mm -hmm. right? What you got in there? There's a mixture of ground bait, which is sweet marine. Yeah. Mixed quite damp. Okay. Nice and heavy, so when it gets to the bottom, it's going to go... Right, I've got yeah. about 100 mil of casters mm -hmm. and about 200 mil of finely chopped worms. Why have you chopped them so fine? Right, because... You want the smell and the scent of the worms, but you don't want loads of big, massive pieces okay. that the fish are going to eat. And it's quite easy for them to fill up on just a couple of big pieces of worm. Yeah. So as you can see from that, I've finely chopped the worms. I don't know if you can see just on my hand. You see these odd little bits? Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, they're almost like little bits of casters. Yeah. But fish... Like caster size. Like caster size. Yeah. Caster worms. Caster worms. <laughs> but a lot of the fish in these sort of canals, yeah. they like the fish mealy, pellety sort of mix. So ah, what I've done okay. as well... It's a little bit different, that, isn't it? I've added around 100 mil of just micro pellets. Oh, uh, yeah. So hopefully it gives me a nice chance of singling out them better fish because there's lots of small fish in here, so I don't want to fish like natural ground baits, like, I don't know, a proactive sort of mix. Yeah. I don't want, like, hemp and stuff like that in it too much. Okay. Um, so I've gone down the fish mealy route, worms, casters, odd micro pellet, Catch some bigger fish. Bang her in. There's two pints of ground bait in there yep. to all the other bits that I said, around 200 mil of finely minced worms, 100 mil of casters. Don't go down pinkies and maggot route when you're fishing on canals at this time of year because I think it just gives yourself too much of a chance of catching a smaller fish. There's bigger fish in here to catch, isn't there? There's bigger boys to catch. <laughs> I mean, go on then. This is quite interesting. Is that right? all going in at the start? Is it the all whole, going so, in at the, the start, whole right? And what I'm going to do okay. is... I'm going to sandcastle it in. Sandcastle. Right. It is warm it, enough to sandcastle in I'm going to put it in. It is as well, Brendan. It's red <laughs> hot. So as you can see like that. Yeah. You might have seen it. We do this a lot on commercials and stuff like that. This is no different. So I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Like squeeze put, it in. Squeeze, just squeeze, just literally, just like that. Just tap it in with my fingers. Yeah. And I'm going to turn it upside down. It'll go all down in one piece. But importantly, it'll break down just before it hits the bottom and spread out. Okay. So let's get a rim. In life, it's like mushroom cloud sort of thing. Mushroom! Like a mushroom cloud. Headphones! <laughs> yeah. So, we'll go right to my spot. Yeah, right in front of you. I've got a plane coming. Hello, plane. Hi, plane. And then... Drop it in. 
There we go. Oh. I'm going to do that until that bait tub's empty. Lovely. And hopefully we're going to catch some nice skimmers and breams. Big fat skim box. First fish of the day tank. More oh. importantly, you're getting get me doing some work, Brandon. <laughs> Miracles do happen. Yeah. I reckon it's a Billy Brenda. You reckon? Yeah, nice one. Pulling a bit of the old Lazzy out, isn't it? Went mental at first. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh. He's a proper Billy. Yeah. What are you doing, Reese? Really? <laughs> oh, it's about a beer in Master all over again. Right, oh, here we go. I can't see him. Can see him. Shall I go for the wheel raising scoop? It's clear enough for it. Oh, you got him. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Go on, Willie. Oh. Look at that. That's a cracking scoop, that. Go on, you get him. Have a look at him. Nice, look at him. him. Throw weed on him. Lovely fish, isn't it? Lovely way to start the day. Oh, cracker. Gorgeous fish. Big bit of worm in, Brenda. Is that what it was on? Mm, a bit of worm. Scourger. Go on, the Conti Scourger. Oh. The eight ounce. He's a big one, isn't he? Cracker. Little dinosaur. Baby dinosaur. Back. Bye bye. What do we have here, Tank? Got Brazum. Brazum? Yeah. First think... one of the day. Look at him. <gasps> He's not bad at him, is it at all, is he? Right, you're good in. This is why you need like a five meter net, friend. Look at that. Look. <sighs> He's a cracking fish, Go isn't on, he? Brother. That is awesome. <gasps> it's so hot. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's a very hot day, isn't oh. it? Honestly, look at that net. That's why you need it. Look at all them lilies. Oh, he's a beast. He is a big one, isn't he? Let's check this down. Look at oh. that. Whoa. Look at him. Oh, he's a lovely colour, isn't he? Look at that. Stunning fish. What a cracker. What did you have him on? I had him on two casters, Brenda. Two casters? Look at that. Was he three pound? Yeah. Should we get a photo of him? Why not? Let's do it. Let's get a photo. Bubbles. Bubbles. Bubbles means bream. Bubbles. <laughs> oh! Cracking strike, sir. That was a good strike, that Brenda. That's a brasm. Is it a brasm? Yeah. Go on, the brasm. Tell you what, this vent, this canal is absolutely awesome, honestly. Rigid, isn't it? So hot, I'm attacking brasm. How clear it is as well, folks. See lily pads down there. A big bream that one. Big Brazil. He's pulling. Oh. Oh, you see him in the middle of the room now? Oh. See him then? Yeah. <laughs> I think I got that. Have a look at him there. Oh. Look at him, look how slow he's moving. How good's like elastic? Honestly, mate, this venue, I, I love it. It's one of my favourite ever venues, this Brenda. Is it? Yeah. Cracking. I can, see, old... I can see why. Get the old five. Oh, look at his head popping. Right, a bit too far out there, so let's ship him to there. Get rid of that one, let me get out of the way. This is why you need a five metre landing net handle, folks. You can reach out there. Catch big bream like that. Oh, Simply lovely. Simply. Simply lovely. He's just as big as the last one, isn't he? Look at that, I'm using the old spray bar as a little whisperer. <laughs> yeah, I think oh. it's the last one in, mate. Go the slime with your little. Oh, mate, you should see my legs. <laughs> right. It'd cool you down nicely, wouldn't it? Look at that. Red hot, Brazzam. Look at his, look at the way he's up there, Brenda. What hook's that? 16 feeder special. Ah. The bream tamer. Loud and tank. Lovely. Catch some more. Go on then, let's talk through the business end to catch these big canal bream. Super simple rig, only got one with us today. Mm -hmm. Dead simple. I've got a pinger, yeah. wire pinger, 0.6, nice and stable. I like the fact that it's got a hollow bristle. I can see it. The light's been in and out a lot today. Yeah. It's sunny, bright sun, cloudy now. You can see these like a beacon. They're very, very Every visible, isn't they? Mm. It's important to use a little round bodied float when you're fishing on canals like this and a wire stem because the canals can rock quite a lot, because it's quite a deep canal. Yep. So when a boat comes through, your float's sat like this. So if you're using a slim bodied float and like say a carbon stem, it's not really the one. I think you get the best of both worlds with like a rugby ball shape, nice visible hollow bristle and wire stem. Mm. Line is 013 engage, that's my actual main line. Yep. 
down to the elastic. I did start on a slightly lighter elastic. I started on a six, yeah. um, but I've changed that because the fishing has been absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. And you've got a bit of lilies there, so you want to pull them out of them. That's like a pink it. hydro. It's been absolutely perfect. Not lost the fish since I put that on, actually. No. And running down to the actual shotting, I've got a little bulk of number nine micro shot there. Probably around 60 centimetres from the actual hook. Um, I like to have quite a high bulk because the canal is super clear. So you don't want everything super close, tight, right next to your hook clamp. Because that just means your hook weight's going to go straight down. I like to have a little bit of a fall as soon as that float settles. I've had a couple of fish today as my float's actually settled. The, probably the biggest beam I've caught all day. So it's important to just have a little bit of a slower fall of that hook bait. And I'm running down. I've literally got one, two, three, four micro shot there. They're size 10 droppers. And they're actually tapered down slightly. So that's say about 15 centimetres, probably 20, 25. And then the final gap is about 25, 30 centimetres down to a six inch hook length. That's 011 engage down to a, I don't know if you can see it there. 16 feet of special, mm -hmm. absolutely love them. Beautiful look for like double casters, bit of a worm, even two maggots. Just an all round cracking up for bream and skimmers. Lovely. Match we set up. I see some minced worms tank. Minced worms, getting time to top up. We had okay. two or three bream, a few other small fish and the bites are starting to slow up. So mm -hmm. what do you actually top up with? I'm gonna show you now. Okay. I've just minced up a few worms, literally yes. a little handful of worms, put them in a little pot. Minced yes. them up nice and fine. Again, don't have them too big a pieces because the fish can easily fill up on them bigger pieces. Yes. So I've got my minced worms there. Okay. I'm going to add a good, casters. Yeah, a couple of little palmfuls of casters like mm -hmm. that. Same amount as worms, to be honest. Yeah. I'm going to add a few micro pellets like that again. Okay. I really like to have these in my mix whenever I'm fishing these mm. sort of canals in the warmer months. You love a micro pellet, don't you? Honestly, the bream and skimmers absolutely love it. Mm. Keeps me in your peg like grubbing around. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna add a little bit of ground bit to that as well. Not too much now, but just a palm full of ground bit like that. Yeah. Right, and give it a little shake up. Ah. I used to do this loads when I, you know, I fished on this canal, grew up on here really. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it a nice little mix. Mix okay. it through and it goes to like a little sloppy, wormy ball. Mm. And it's like quite particle rich mix but you lots only want lots of attraction a lot of attraction all that smelly amino acids mm. and stuff like that they're micro pellets absolutely love it and how i would top up is basically like this i'd get a nice little tiny little golf ball if you like okay yeah and i'd feed one of them after every fish every big fish you say yeah after every big fish yeah. not after every like little small roach you're going to get that when you have yeah, yeah, fish yeah. on it these sort of canals you're going to get smaller fish but whenever i catch like a big decent skimmer a bream um, anything that's going to pull back a little bit, to be honest, or, or I think that's eaten quite a lot of bait yes. when it's in my peg. Got a big mouth. Yes. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a little golf ball in after every one. That'll probably be about five or six top ups. Mm -hmm. So five or six bream. Do it again. Yeah, Repeat man. the process. Let's get her in. Look at that for a bream. Crackers, aren't they? Awesome fish, that, mate. Proper golden brown, aren't mm. they? You've had a few now, now, haven't you? have got a few, you? mate. I think that's about six popping back now. A bit lively. Mm. That's sixth one, that. Number six. Yeah, all on double casters. Yeah. They seem to absolutely love casters today. Yeah. I'm going to try something that I've done here before in the past quite a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to catch them on expanders. Expanders? I don't on think, a canal? Mate, I don't think you can catch pretty much any quicker than what we have been doing. I've had like, no. three in about 15 minutes. Yeah. Sun's gone in, bit of cloud cover, it's gone absolutely solid. Mm. But I want to try and catch them on a few on expanders. Something different, isn't it? <laughs> Why not? Which expanders are they? Uh, the mainline match neutral expander, them. Six, uh, are they six mil? I think six mil six ones, mil yeah. Ones, yeah. yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Something a bit different, isn't it? Let's pop one of them on the oak. Let's give it a go. Go on then, show us how you want these expanders. First of all, I'm just getting all this bream slime off my line. Mm. Look, good little tip that. Get all that little bits of snot off your line, because. Yeah. Just, like, I can imagine when it sat there in the middle of the water, like, it, Bream looking at it thinking, what's all burning slime on his line <laughs> for? So, right, I actually lied to you all. Not six mil, they are four mil. Liar, sorry. Such a liar. Right, I haven't actually pumped these. I, don't, I never do that. All I do is put them in straight into water. Um, got here this morning, put them into some water. And to actually hook them, super simple. Just give them a little squeeze like that. Oh, uh, yeah. See all the bubbles coming yeah. out? Yeah. Right, that gets all the air out of the expander. Mm. I'm gonna get me 16 feet of special. Yes. Apologies for the old play. <laughs> I'm gonna hook it right down the middle yeah. of the expander. Like it. Perfect. And that 
Looks like look at that burning slime still there. Look, get it all off. That's it. Make sure it all comes it? off. And then there is your expander. Just like you do for F1s or car or anything like that. A little bit of hook point showing. A little bit of hook point showing. Hook it through the barrel. Let's go catch another breed. Slide on. Slide on, bro. Oh. Go on the expanders. Got one on it, Brenda. Go on, on the expanders. There's Chuck on it. I can't Li believe it. Literally settled down for 30 seconds, wasn't it? <laughs> Not even that. How solid is it now? That's ridiculous. Might have been better than casters, that. Mate, that was like 10 seconds. <laughs> Looks a nice fish. I've caught, honestly, I've caught loads of fish on this canal on, on pellets. Hmm. Look at him. Look at the slime on your line. Burning slime. Look at that. Whoop. Ooh, cheeky. <laughs> Got him. Cracking fish. Wild and tank. On the old pellets. Try the expanders, people. Awesome. Are you happy to be on the white section, oh, Donis? I'm just taking my time. I'm, I'm enjoying this white section. <laughs> it is so hot, right? You oh. should have heard him then, crying. Honestly, right. Right to the end. Right Go to on, the boy. End. Wait a minute. That's in, the, it. in the little V. No, that V to your right. Go on. There. Right, 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 right. Right. That is right. Right, right. There. Oh, left, there. left, tiny bit left. Oh, there you go. Oh, this. I was looking I'm at the little yellow thing. <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah, yes, Brenda. Ian Beal. No, oh, Brenda. <laughs> Where are you going? Scooping. Brenda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, Brenda. You need to go underneath it. No. <laughs> You've got to get his tail in. You've got to oh, get his tail. Brenda, what are you doing? <laughs> this is pathetic. Right, go underneath <laughs> No! There you go, now you got it. Oh, that was one of the worst things I think I've ever seen. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Oh, that is 100% going on. It's going on social. Put him on two casters. Oh. 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 Uh. Carolina. Yeah. So many fish there now, Brenda. Ridiculous. The look at the bubbles there, look. I see them. You've got to like wait for it to proper go under. When it goes under, I always say, God save the queen. <laughs> Even with pellets, because I've, I've striked loads of times with pellets, and it's like, oh, mm. come off, got to try and go back again. God save the... Oh, we'll say it. When, when it goes under, we'll, we'll, we'll say it. Let's say it. How, how, do you say it quickly, or do you say it slowly? Right, I'd say it. That were a big indication. Then, you see that line? Yeah. I go, God save the queen. God save the queen. Right, I got so, it. In a second, it's going to go under, I'm sure of it. Come on, the Queen. Come on, Queen. You need to save her. Queen Bream. Queenie. <laughs> Mikey. Queen Bream. Oh, what of indication. What's happening? Say, what? God save, save oh, the yeah. Queen. Oh, oh. <laughs> go on, the Queen. From the initial light sort of bite. <laughs> <laughs> God, you went, you went, you went, you went, God save hey, the bream. <laughs> right, queen is saved. You're welcome, Queen. God save the Queen. I'm going to remember that. He is a nice one, isn't he? I can't believe how good it's been today. Oh my God, another one top. <gasps> We're on the epicenter. We're on him. Look. Go on the five metre net. Look at that. Cracking fish. Tell you what, I support that. It's lovely for sliding fish up. Tell you what, we put it out there. One of the smallest of the day. Yeah. All right, Brenda. Stop pissing <laughs> me. Stop pissing <laughs> me. Massive breed. Hey, if Brimmer was on the box, that's, that wouldn't be a small one. I'd say that's a skimmer. I reckon, Tank, we finish on this one here. Really good in Brenda. Does it? Mm. Good bream. Had a really cracking day, haven't we? In. Yeah, Look at that. Oh. Lovely. Been a cracking day, isn't oh. it, Tank? Been an awesome day, mate. Honestly, we've had loads. Isn't that might be 10 bream now. Look at that. All on, stay in Firth and Kiwi Canal. Look at that. Perfect or cold. 
Well, you walked in right there. Right, the scissors. Right in there the go. scissors. There we go. Look at that. Oh, warrior. Mate. You enjoyed it. Been an awesome day, mate. Well done. Sliding back. Sliding and back. what do the people do at home if they want to watch more videos like this? Look at that, Render. I've got a rod. Got a rod? But Put you... me ream back. I've got a rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you like the Tackle Guru. No, like this video yeah. and subscribe to the Tackle Guru TV YouTube page because there's lots of other videos on there. Mm -hmm. Loads of gurus on the bank, vlogs, bite sizes. Enjoy it all. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Give a few tips. And all I can say is this is probably one of my favourite ever venues. And today has been one of the best days fishing I've had in ages. Great day, isn't it? Loved it. it.